And that breaking news, flames shooting right out of an apartment building in Avondale. People jumping out of a second floor window. And good evening, I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Ashley Kirkland. You can see how dangerous this was. And we now know people were hurt. Crews were called to Glen Ridge Place around 4 o'clock this afternoon. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live now with the latest on what's happening, Todd. Yeah, Ashley and Mike, for a fire that could have been a whole lot worse, this one was certainly bad enough. Take a look right behind me here. You've still got fire crews. They've been removing things that were burned in this fire, uh, scorched by the flames. They've been taking them out of this apartment complex. And you can see this is a multi-family uh, unit here. Now, let me show you over here to my uh, this side on, of me. We have a ladder truck here. We, in fact, we have one just leaving the scene right now. But they're still up at the top of that uh, ladder, putting out any hot spots that were in the attic of this apartment complex. So a very difficult situation. We have some video we want to show you now. Uh, there were at least three people, according to Assistant Fire Chief Tom Lakamp, who jumped to their safety. In fact, we talked to one. You'll hear from him in just a second. But uh, three people jumping to safety. Two of those people had to be taken to the hospital. Uh, there was one firefighter who was hurt, suffered minor injuries, we're told, as he was uh, battling the fire from the outside of the building. Now, again, that young man we talked to, DeMonte Cole Walker, he made the decision once he realized all the chaos around him. He was in his unit, made the decision to jump to safety. Listen to him yeah, as he I explains mean, was what was going through his mind at that time on, on, on the side of me um, a lot of people screaming you know a lot of commotion going on I'm um, just a lot of confusion there are people on the outside screaming um, you know I was really nervous about the neighbors though because you know they're trying to jump out the window but the flames were coming up so I mean it, it, that was a scary part about it you know it was a very scary situation all the way around, especially for those who were inside. In fact, DeMonte saying that the two other people that did jump, in addition to himself, very worried about their condition, although I'm told that uh, the injuries don't appear to be life-threatening. But on the back side of this building, that's actually appears to be like a third story. One man jumped onto a concrete pavement below, so you can imagine how difficult that fall must have been. So a lot of concern tonight for those uh, who were injured. But again, uh, at this point, it appears those injuries not life-threatening, and that firefighter who was hurt uh, suffered some minor injuries. Reporting live here in North Avondale, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.